Happy Wednesday, everybody. I'm Amanda Head, the Hollywood Conservative, and this is your Hollywood Minute. So I am sure you have heard by now some of the revealing results of our California primary yesterday. The one that I think most people are talking about is the successful recall of Cheza Boudin, the San Francisco prosecutor funded by George Soros, who has been very weak on crime, such that it has basically destroyed the city of San Francisco in conjunction with some other problems as well. But he was recalled uh, 60%, uh, I think 60 to 40. What's interesting about this is that he he claimed, I think the quote was, uh, the right-wing billionaires outspent us three to one. And I find it interesting that he's blaming right-wing billionaires for his loss when in fact uh, the San Francisco Chronicle published a, a mapping of the precincts and the breakdown of the yes-no vote. And when you look at that map of San Francisco, it was actually the rich white liberal areas uh, that voted to keep him. It was the Hispanic, uh, Black, Asian communities that voted to get rid of him. So, you know, I, I are those people considered right-wing billionaires now? I don't know. Um, it's a great start, but there are plenty of other Soros DAs that have to get out of there. Uh, Kim Gardner of St. Louis County, Kim Fox of Cook County, which is Chicago. Uh, of course, George Gascon here in Los Angeles. He is facing a recall effort here. Uh, Diana Becton of Contra Costa County, which is also up near San Francisco. The Philly DA, I can't remember his name, Larry uh, Larry Krasner, I think is his name, uh, in Philadelphia. So, uh, that was the big news coming out of San Francisco, California. Also for controller, Lonnie Chen, who is a Republican, uh, got the number one spot. Now, for those of you who don't know, California is a jungle primary. So the top two contenders, regardless of party, are the ones who advanced to the general election in November. And the person who got the most votes, uh, who will go on to the general election is Lonnie Chen, who is a Republican. Absolutely incredible. And that race is not getting talked about as much. And then, of course, Rick Caruso, the Democrat who um, got the number one spot in the uh, primary. Number two was Karen Bass. Karen Bass, you all probably know her name. She's a former Democrat congresswoman. She left that seat in Congress to run for mayor of Los Angeles. Uh, she is more of the far left progressive wing of Democrats and uh, billionaire Rick Caruso. They're trying to smear him as a billionaire. He is a billionaire, but it's not a pejorative. Uh, but he got the number one spot. I think that the breakdown of votes was 42% to 37%. So as long as he stays on that trajectory heading into November, Los Angeles will have a Mayor Caruso, and this is a guy who was a Republican until 2012, then he switched to no party preference, and then he just recently switched to Democrat. I think it's probably because he knew a Republican would not win mayor of LA County. But his messaging definitely resounded with people of LA because he ran on a pro-police, pro pro-law and order uh, platform to clean up this city, and as it turns out, that's a universal idea. So. All right, everybody, head over to my website, thehollywoodconservative.us. Sign up for my daily emails. Go over to MyPillow and use my promo code Hollywood. See you tomorrow.